Seattle Metro is unveiling a long-term plan that could change the way many of us get around Austin. This draft proposal highlights all of the ideas the transit agency is exploring. Three of the routes are considered a high priority. As KXAN's Eugen Cho reports, one of those is a transit line out to the airport. A new way to get to the airport. It does give the citizens of Austin another option. Using what Capital Metro is calling a high capacity transit system. You don't have to wait long for it to arrive. Uh, not being stuck in congestion is another huge one. Cap Metro already has a bus that goes to the airport. But as Austin grows, Cap Metro says it's willing to spend up to $22.5 million to further analyze and conduct preliminary engineering work to add new rail or rapid bus routes. It's asking the city to contribute $15 million. TSA is paging the following passengers. Many travelers at Austin's airport are worried about the cost. I'd say it may not be a bad idea, but I'd think twice about it because there's going to be some serious cost with it. Those things always take longer and they always run over budget. Transit officials told us it will take years before we start to see parts of Project Connect become reality. Until then. Use what we have now. Some shuttle service owners told us they're hoping people will utilize this existing option if they don't want to deal with traffic. To get to their destinations and not necessarily have to dish out so much money in order to get this project going. Yushin Show, KXAN News. Capital Metro will release more illustrations of their plan tomorrow. You can give your thought on it at an open house at the Austin Central Library downtown. That's scheduled from 4 to 8 p.m. A lot of people think public transportation is worth investing in because of the growth expected in Central Texas. According to CAP Metro's research, our population will increase 138% by the year 2040. Employment growth will go up by 200%. And the number of people who drive on our roads is expected to double by 2040. But there is only room to increase capacity by 15%.